a partner for everybody and there's if you really want to get your music like worldwide there's a worldwide partner you know if you want to get your music heard and down the street there's a person down the street who can play a local dj who can play your music it's all about what level you want your music to be heard i learned this thing called like round table where you sit all your personalities at a table and you kind of have a problem and you're sitting on the table and you talk to your cautious person, you talk to your um, risk taking person, you talk to your smart person, your reckless person, uh, you talk to your emotional person and you kind of get insight from all your personalities and then you make your decision per that. So sometimes it's just me and my reckless personality talking like, <laughs> like bitch, what she's like? And, I, and my friend Frank always say, he say, I turn my head and be like, who? he said, Esther, whoever's on your shoulders, you look to him and say, did you hear that? <laughs> and, you know. I believe getting your music noticed is the first how noticed. You know what? Do you want, you know, the guy at the club to notice, you, you know, your song? Do you want the, the world to notice your song? Do you want your friends and family to notice your song? Like, you really got to decide how far you want to go in this industry. Do you want to go in this industry where you get one song? Or do you want a whole album, a whole lifestyle, a whole new outlook on life as being an artist? Then, you know, you've got to decide that. And you got to go find somebody to partner up with. And I think the biggest things that people may um, come into hardship is when you partner up with the wrong person. Partner how you will pick your life partner. Um, pick them how you will pick the person who's gonna take care of your children. Pick the person how you will pick a job and how you pick a bank. Um, I think personal business is missing in the music industry. And the biggest way to win is to collaborate and pick good business people to partner with you and take the journey to get your music heard. How do you get a placement? I've always said that like a writer should get with a producer and a producer should get with a writer. I've always heard like it takes 25 songs, one out of 25. I'm gonna say one out of 100, one out of 200, one out of 300. It takes a lot of working at writing songs to make it where it's the quality that is acceptable. Now listen, most people get a placement because they were in the room with the artist. If you go to the studio and, this, and the record label asks you to come in the studio with the artist or with the artist that the writer that the artist loves writing with or with the producer that the artist loves writing with, there's always a key person who's the go-to of the situation. Get in the room with them, you know, work with them. Um, collaborate with who everybody is collaborating with. And I think the TikTok, you know, new era, they understand that. They understand collaboration. And by collaborating, you got a, a, a bigger chance on getting a placement. My way has always been music industry as a customer service rep. Like I've always been a person who shop my records to song and licenses on artists. You can get a publishing deal like pretty much to me easy. It's easy whether you just get a shitty one or you. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to get, uh, not hard, I don't really like hot, hard because I got a publishing deal without even knowing what a publishing deal was. I had played my music, you know, and, and they told me, you know, yo, you know, people write for a living. And I said, oh yeah, they said, yeah, it's like a publishing deal. And I had to go find me a lawyer and, I had to go, you know, be a big girl and understand that I had to go into a contract with some people that I did not know. And uh, it worked out, you know, trusted my gut and I, I went with it. And I did that when I was 22, 23, signed, my, signed a publishing deal. But I, I just went in there with product. You know, if you have product, you can get anybody, you can get investment or somebody to invest in you when you show that you have a streamline of products, like you really 
are putting your foot forward. And I didn't even go into that meeting to get a publishing deal. It's what they offered me. And if you want a publishing deal, then you go to publishing companies. Now, they be making these things like they're far-fetched. You know, the industry is an open door kind of situation. Like you, you have BMI, you have ASCAP, you got CSAC. I, I think the best publishing deal is the one that people are trying to give you, you're not trying to get. <laughs> yeah, I just started learning about the industry, the music industry until I was like 24, 25. And, and going into the studio and talking to songwriters who's already in a publishing deal and who's already working on big artists. And I'm like, wow, this is a whole place. <laughs> you know, this is a whole world. The songwriters need managers. Songwriters need managers if a songwriter doesn't like to have to be the one who answers the phone in the morning and at night. The songwriters need several things. You need whatever skill you don't have. So if you're good at management, you don't need that. Many. You know what I'm saying? But if you're not good at producing, you need a producer. If you're good at producing, but not good at time management and delivering deliverables to people after they ask what they want, then you're not good to be the, the, the one that's managing the situation. If somebody's managing all your day-to-day -day situations and going to give meetings and, and pitching and all that stuff. So I pitch and I do all these things myself and I go out and get the deals um, just through the, the communication and the network that I've already had by delivering the works that I've already delivered. So, you know, at this time, I, I'm not a person who needs a manager, but I need a management team. Like, you know, I would hire a management team and I would manage myself. Work with the ones who's not guessing. Like that person knows what they want. You know, the first thing you can ask a person is what do you want? If they can't tell you, get away from them. <laughs> because they, their, their lack of knowledge of what direction they're going in is definitely gonna fuck your shit up. Like that's just period. Girl, you know you better watch out. Some guys, some guys only about that thing, that thing, that thing. Thank you for watching me. If you have any questions for me so that I don't have to make them up, please email me.